Before we get on with the video on why Android is better than iPhone, I have to say a thank you to Phone Guardian. Phone Guardian VPN is a free VPN that works amazingly. More information once the video is over at the end of the video is what I'm trying to say. Duh. Androids are just better than iPhones. Now, first off, they have more customization. Now, customization, if you really want your phone to look nice, then obviously customization is important to you. Now, customization works really, it works pretty good with iPhones, but it works better with Androids because there's more apps to customize your phone with, and I explained this in a separate video which is my last video on it was my last video it was called uh tips and tricks to do with your samsung and obviously i mostly explain customization in there if you guys want to go check out the video go check out that video so now, I'm sorry, the link isn't in the description. You can just scroll down. It's that easy. So now, since that's a thing now, customization, obviously iPhone doesn't have a lot of it. If you know, Apple do not have a lot of customization. Literally, you can just install the Google Pixel launcher and your phone will look like a Pixel phone. Literally, you can install anything. Like the Microsoft launcher, there's thousands of other launchers out there that will work for your Android phone to make your phone get customized to the absolute max. So, now let's get on to reason number two. Video quality and photo quality. So if you're anything like me, Video quality and photo quality really matters to you because I'm a YouTuber. I mean, video quality obviously matters to me. So, like, you guys can just see, like, all of the video. That's why I got an Android phone because the video quality is 10 times better than iPhone. I know a lot of people think that that's wrong, but it's actually true. Trust me, just look at my camera. Look at my camera quality right now as I'm recording on an Android. Look at it. Look at it. And then go back to my old video, see my iPhone quality, and then look at that. Ten times better. Reason number three. App Store. That's really all I have to say in App Store. Now, obviously, App Stores, like, you can, like, there's, like, no App Stores you can, like, Apple make you stick with the default, like, App Store, the Google, like, the normal App Store. Well, Android, you can get any other App Store, including, uh, the Galaxy Store, the freaking Steam, Stadia, thousands of other app stores on Androids are available, while there's only one app store available on iPhone. Reason number four. Do I even have to say this one? The notch. I'm pretty sure all of you guys expected that coming. Literally the notch. Literally the notch on my phone is like so small you can't even see it. Digit, there's a small notch on my phone that barely covers up the screen. 
when the notch on iPhones is huge. Do you see how big that notch is compared to Android's notches? Literally, some Androids don't even have a notch. Reason number five. Again, I'm pretty sure you guys saw this coming. Fingerprints. So, what I thought Apple was going to do with the iPhone 10 was they were going to put Face ID with the fingerprint scanner, but like built into the screen, like how Androids do sometimes now. Or they just put it at the back of the phone. <sighs> fingerprint scanners on Androids, 10 times better, plus. Five reasons. Fingerprint scanner. You can see that I can literally scan my fingerprint on the phone that I have right now. Pretty insane, right? Like fingerprint is more secure than touch is more secure than face ID. So one could literally just wait. I'm recording with my phone. Someone, just pretend this is a phone. Someone could literally just go like this while you're sleeping and get into your phone and hack into your phone, delete all your apps and stuff like that. That's why we need fingerprint scanner because obviously if they move your finger even a little bit, you're going to wake up. Just look at it. You trying to hack into my phone? It's exactly what I would do if I felt someone trying to grab my finger. Good thing I have a pen. Next one, sixth one. Do we even have to say it? Do we literally even have to say this one? Oh my god. Phone size. Really when the iPhone 6 came out, you had to go like, you really had to go like this. To like, you had to use like two hands to reach the top of your phone and it's so hard to reach the top of your phone on those ones. Cause it's so big. Now, look at look at my Android. So I'm gonna hold it up. You should see. Boom! Reach the top easily. One finger, just my thumb. Nothing else, and I reach the top easily. When I on an iPhone, you have to use like two hands to reach the top easily or hold your phone from the top, and it's impossible to get it to the bottom. Reason number, reason number seven. Bands. So obviously, Apple is its own brand making phones. Me, there's no other brands that will make a cheaper version of that phone a little bit better. It's just them. They will not team up with any other company. It's just them. And with Android, there's thousands of other brands that have Android installed on it. That literally make cheaper versions of other phones with a little bit more features. There's thousands of companies to pick from, to pick your poison from. First off, there's Samsung, Google, LG, too many, Huawei, freaking OnePlus. Just too many, too many, too many. Too many. 
Reason number eight. Do I even have to say this one? Speed. So obviously on Android phones, Android phones are 10 times faster than iPhones and with my experience. With my experience, they're a little bit faster than iPhones. A lot faster. With my experience, I used to own an iPhone and it went pretty fast. This one goes a lot faster. Now that's just my preference for number eight. The speed, pretty much just the speed. Cause obviously the speed is gonna matter. Cause obviously it downloads. If you want to install something on your Android, if you want to install something on your iPhone, it's probably going to go slower than a actual Android. Now, I don't know why, but yeah. Number nine, we're getting there. We only have one more reason left. Like two more reasons left. Do I even have to say this? Skipping numbers. Now obviously Apple don't know how to count if they count like this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's make the iPhone one, the iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7, iPhone 8. iPhone 10. Yeah, cause like it definitely goes like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, Samsung's only skipping it by tens. Well, they're skipping it. They only skipped it once. While well, Samsung. Knows that they're skipping it and they're skipping it on purpose when it just seems like Apple's skipping it on accident because they actually did the ramen numeral of 10. X. They literally did the ramen numeral of 10, making it seem like it was an accident. Going from iPhone 1, iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10, iPhone 10X Max, iPhone, iPhone 10 iPhone 10S, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Like, what are they doing? Number 10. Price. You knew this was coming, the price. I'm pretty sure you guys were waiting for price. Prices on Android are 10 times lower than iPhones, but they give you more features. Now, why an iPhone making a $1,000 phone where the only feature they added was Face ID covers up half of your screen and stupid and emojis that literally no one uses.
that's it for the video. Bye. No, no, that's, do not click off. I knew you were, about, I know you were about to click off. Do not click off before this important message. Hackers are out there. People tracking you are out there. There's actual hackers that can track your internet. Say you go to a coffee shop and you use Wi-Fi, the coffee shop workers in the coffee shop manager in the coffee shop CEO can actually see where you're located because you're hooked up to the internet. That's why you want to use a VPN and the number one VPN I'd recommend is Phone Guardian. This is specifically a phone VPN. Do not click off. So all you have to do is just search Phone Guardian VPN on the App Store, look for this little dog symbol, install it, and then enable the VPN, and exactly make sure if you're on iPhone, put it in your VPN thing, and then like enable the VPN. If you're on Android, enable data usage for the app or data tracking for the app. It will not actually track your data. No, it's a VPN, it will not do that. Just make sure you enable that data usage. And now once you enable both of those, once you enable that one thing on the phone, you can just automatically click connect. It's gonna connect you to a virtual private network. If you do not want V if you do not know what VPN stands for, it stands for virtual private network. Now make sure you go install that VPN before it is too late and your phone gets compromised by hackers. That's all from me folks. Goodbye.